today we will be going over Ramps integration with Sage. For full details, head to Ramps Help Center to learn more. We start by connecting Sage and Ramp. To do that in our accounting tab, we find Sage's provider and kick off our guided walkthrough. Ramp provides a step-by-step -step breakdown of how to create the connection and any necessary steps that are required inside of Stage. You'll see these steps categorized in a linear format. For a full breakdown of implementation steps, go to Ramp's Help Center for documentation on setup. When ready, enter your Sage credentials, and in a matter of minutes, your integration between Ramp and Sage will be complete. Once we've established our connection, our first step can be syncing over transactions. Here in our accounting tab, we can multi-select a few transactions and begin to code them accordingly. Ramp allows us to bring in a host of different Sage fields, populate them accordingly, as well as bring in custom fields. Whether it be department, vendor, class, we can easily click into one of these fields and quickly code it with the necessary information. Under Settings in our Accounting tab, this is where we can configure our different accounting fields. Here we can see fields that Ramp is currently syncing to, as well as Sage Intech fields that are currently not being used in Ramp. With just a click, we can enable these fields and begin to populate them in our Ramp Accounting tab. We can easily rearrange the order of these fields as well. Sync settings allows us to map where we are sending our accounting data to financial accounts within Sage. We can do this for both card transactions, reimbursements, bill pay, and multi-entity. When we finish coding our transactions, we can sync these over directly into Sage. This process follows a similar flow for reimbursements. Simply select, code accordingly, and sync over in a matter of clicks. Once these transactions and reimbursements have been synced over, we can click directly into the Sage record from our expense or reimbursement within Ramp. Here we can see that credit card transaction that has been synced over. This will be stored under credit card transactions. Similarly, our reimbursement also has a direct hyperlink. We can locate this in our Accounts Payable tab under Bills. Sage and Ramp also support multi-entity. We can configure these under the Entity tab within Ramp. Sage and Ramp also work for your bills. Under the Bills tab, navigate to Settings, Importing, and configure importing bills directly from Sage. For the bills that you create within Ramp, we can also sync these over directly to Sage and navigate to the hyperlink to bring us to the direct record in Sage. Bill payments will populate in the Accounts Payable tab under Bills. Lastly, Ramp supports Match to Bill. Here we can see with the Amazon transaction we're paying with card, we can match this to a corresponding transaction within Sage. Simply select and match. Ramp's direct integration with Sage allows your finance teams to operate more efficiently, giving them time back so they can focus on the work that matters most.